Hi guys, it's Kristen. I had a few dreams to share with you really quickly and the Lord's been on me to put a couple more videos out as I told everyone. Um, I think you probably heard from others about new YouTube changes and hopefully they won't take down my channel that day, but I've been told from the Lord that they will soon, so they need to put out what he gives me right away. And he gave me a revelation earlier on a couple dreams that he had given me um a while back um there were two separate dreams that happened at two separate occasions but it told me what he was trying to get across and then lately i've been dreaming of the name chase everyone who i've seen every one of my dreams who either had the first or the last name chase and i couldn't figure out for a long time and i look up the name chase and it does mean um uh, i think it said um, yeah, to chase or to hunt. And he keeps showing me everyone and anyone, even with the last name Chase. And so I know that's what he's trying to say. And I asked him for revelation on this dream earlier. And the 144, not just the Christians, he also told me about Christians being hunted and chased, which I told you guys a couple videos ago, but also... And this time he's warned me of the 144 being hunted or chased. And so uh, I'd say if the person is a 144, they're already aware of this. But I just want to let you know because I keep getting it. And he gives me things until I understand them and then share them. And the other couple of dreams I had were, uh, one of them was back in 2016. It was before I was really awake and I was still, you know, thinking we we needed to vote for Trump to get him in there to give us time. Because I thought if uh, Hillary got it, we'd be in much bigger, you know, a way worse situation. But anyway, now I realize that I shouldn't even be in politics at all. I do pray for the president um, just for the fact that as long as he's in there we have time to bring more souls in and as soon as he's out uh, we know the man of sin will resume power so that's the only reason but i do know that he's part of this whole charade but when i was uh still telling people you know yeah i think we should do this but for him blah 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 back in 2016 the lord gave me a dream of me getting married to Trump. And I thought it was strange, a really strange dream. And I didn't know what he was saying. So I, not long later, so I'm watching Dr. Phil. That was when I was still in the world. I'm watching him, his talk show each day. And lo and behold, the Lord gives me a dream of marrying Dr. Phil. And earlier, I was took my son to the doctor, and Dr. Phil happened to be on in the waiting room. And the Lord reminded me, he said, do you remember that dream? And I was like, yeah. And so he put both dreams in my mind at the same time and let me know why. It was because I was still in the world, and he thought I was, um, I guess, giving too much reverence to both of them. And then give me a dream of me marrying them, you know, because the bride of Christ... Um, should always put the Lord first, which I thought I was at the time. But now that I am out of the world and see things more clearly, apparently I wasn't, or not to his liking anyway. So if you're putting anything, even a TV show, before time spent with him, please know if he's giving you these dreams what they mean. And also, yeah, it's a warning to both Christians, um, every Christian, actually, um, they'll be chased and hunted. And also, like I said, when I got this, the name Chase again, I asked the Lord what he meant. And he let me know that the 144 are being also chased and hunted. So um, there are the warnings from the Lord. And like I told you guys on my last video, I do have a Bridie on um, channel now. And I put that, I hope to put it in this description box as well. I put it in my last video in the description box. And my PayPal is always in the description box. If anybody feels led by the Lord to help me out, I could really use it. Um, I guess that was it, you guys. Uh, I hope to be back on with more dreams. I didn't look through my dream journal uh, as of right now because he gave me revelations on those dreams today. 
So I suppose that's what he wanted me to put out today. But I do um, want to go through my dream journal and see what other dreams I might have forgotten and what other warnings he's given me and try to put those out tomorrow, hopefully. But um, yeah, like I said, if you guys are putting even one TV show before the Lord, please rethink that. If you're getting dreams like this, it's what he's trying to tell you. And boy, was I slow. It took me a minute to realize because they weren't back-to-back -back dreams on what he was showing me there. And he does have a great sense of humor. Our Lord is <laughs> so awesome. And then I see Dr. Phil on TV in the waiting room today, and he was like, do you remember that dream? <laughs> so I just I started laughing. People probably looking at me like, what is she giggling about? I mean, it was <laughs> crazy how all of a sudden I just hear him say, do you remember a dream that I gave you? But I hope you're all doing well. Oh, and he gave me a Bible verse, too. Um, I need the King James on here because that's all I ever read, but I screenshotted the wrong one. So I'll read the New International. Um, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave nor forsake you. And I believe these are um, encouragement for those that might find themselves in tribulation or even possibly FEMA camps and may end up dying for the Lord's name's sake. This is Deuteronomy um, 31.6. And that's the other warning I got. So I hope to elaborate more on that. And let you know that if you do end up dying for the Lord. You will not feel a thing. I've I've been showing that as well. Um, I hope you're all doing well like I said. And I'll be back on as soon as I can. And as soon as the Lord gives me something else. And I hope you're all well. God bless.